Hi fam, Shidan here. Because we hit 200 subs, I'm releasing this video early. Do these flowers look familiar? They're in the new map. This particular cluster is southeast of Bloom Castle. Um, you'll find a TLDR on your screen if you're pressed for time, so pause and read if you'd like. I'll be going into character-specific use case scenarios in this video. You're free to check out the chapters for that. Anyway, I hope my research proves useful to you. Yeah. Damage triggers the dust cloud. The debuff can get refreshed if in range, increasing its duration by one second. Range hits will work fine even if they are not charged. Running into a cloud after it appears will apply the debuff as well. Tracking is wildly unaffected by this debuff, and given how thick the cloud is, and that it lasts for 10 seconds, this should be your go-to lifeline. Casting an ultimate, including Kurumi's, will not cleanse you. In this clip, you can see me using the armor circle, and even though the description says that it cleanses all debuffs, this one stays. The same applies with V3, so this debuff isn't going anywhere. Kurumi's F skills also do not cleanse this debuff. This makes me wonder if the description of her skills is a lie, or if this perhaps is a buggy debuff on its own, or if it's special. Who knows? Kurumi's teleport and the grapple loop both deal a small amount of damage, so they will trigger this debuff. Something I find a little weird is that for Valda, only F1 will pop the flower. The other bubbles will just sit on the thorns and look pretty. <laughs> I really wish that this was a bit more consistent, but it is what it is. Initiating some ults will pop the flower, casting soft ults like Machen's or Kurumi's will not. Remember that debuffs overlay each other, and only one can be displayed at a time, but that doesn't mean it's not there. I believe you will see what was applied last, and all debuffs will run their course. Another soft ultimate is that of the monks. He doesn't deal damage, or do a pushback on cast. That's why you don't see it triggering a dust cloud. However, all of the Vajra's attacks will pop the flowers. Tarka's fire trail can proc the ground level ones. Zipping's V2 has a pushback that triggers the debuff. The result will affect you, not her, so be careful. Viper's Moonbane Eyeball Summons do not get blinded. They will stun the enemy normally. The stun variants of her ultimate will actually pop the flowers in your favor. In other news, Zippy's F triggers the flowers too, for whatever reason. You would think that it wouldn't, but here we are. I'm all just absolutely broken here, so if you see one around these, you should really try to inch away. I don't want to imagine getting blinded for 10 plus seconds and trapped in his one prison. It sounds like a horrible way to die. Yoto can turtle quite nicely in the safety of her F, and Wuchen can trigger many flowers at once of his. These flowers are Justina and Matari's new best friend too, because they can really aid in their escapes. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. I hope this was useful to you. Next video will be a montage, probably, and yeah.